Hello everyone, Adam here today, and we will be looking at my top 10 worst characters slash weapons in Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. So before I start, I would very highly recommend watching my other Hyrule Warriors ranking video, which is the top 10 best characters and weapons because it explains how I'm ranking these weapons a lot better. I'll go over it briefly, but it's more in depth over there. For a quick refresher, this is not all based on how good and useful the characters are in battle. That of course does contribute, but other things like how much I like the character in their game, or is the character fun to play as, will also contribute. Like always, this list is of course my own opinion, you don't have to agree. Please don't go ranting in the comments if your favorite character is on here. I still haven't unlocked Toon Zelda, but the Great Fairy, San Juan, and Boots seem pretty okay. Everyone seemed to hate in the Great Fairy, but I find it pretty satisfying to use, honestly. With all the characters on this list, I must say that just because they're on here doesn't mean I absolutely hate playing them. The only characters I don't really have fun playing are like the top 5. The rest just aren't very fun or have an annoying mechanic or something. I tried to take less time writing the scripts to make this video a bit more compact, so hopefully that worked. Finally, this is the last thing I swear. Because of how much is happening in the game, the gameplay shown might be a little bit grainy. If this happens, click on the three little dots in the corner of the screen and change the quality to 720 if you didn't already know how to do this. This should help it run a lot better and make the video more enjoyable. If that doesn't work, then sorry, I'll have to put up with the graininess. Grain, graininess, grain, I, I don't know. With all that out of the way, let's hop into our number 10 spot. At number 10, we have Medley with the Rito Harp. So Medley was a pretty odd character in The Wind Waker. She was the first time to get to play a Zelda game as someone other than Link. At least I think, don't quote me on that. But apart from that, I didn't dislike her character, I just preferred all the other people in Wind Waker, like Tetra or Ganondorf. In Hyrule Warriors, I must say that her gameplay really isn't that bad. I mean honestly, her combo 6 is really fun. It's just that there's a lot of bad things about her. Her weak string is bad, her special attack is bad, and almost all of her attacks leave you vulnerable. She just doesn't feel fast. Based on how much is happening in Hyrule Warriors, it seems like a fast attacking, quick fighter would be the best, and Medley just feels kinda slow. Her attacks aren't quick at all. She's not as slow as other people on this list, but still isn't great. Being ranked usually mid to low tier, I don't think Medley is that bad of a character to play, just really not that fun. At number 9 we have Wizro with the Ring. Being a Hyrule Warriors exclusive character, there's really not much I can say about how I like Wizro. Hyrule Warriors story mode is like really short, and it really only tries making likable characters with like Lana, Sia, and sorta Linkle. Wizro just kinda exists, he doesn't do much. Similar to Medley, Wizro just feels like so slow and unnatural for such a fast paced game, except he does it like a lot worse. After pressing the button, it almost feels like lag waiting for him to attack. With that, his attacks aren't even that good. They're slow and have decent damage at best. Most of them do have great range, but that's about it. Although his attacks kinda suck, you gotta give his combo 4 credit for being the best boss destroyer in the game. Also similar to Medley, he's usually a mid to low tier character, but I see him lower more often than not. Strangely enough, he kind of reminds me of Skull Kid, who is my favorite character to play, just like a lot slower, which hence a lot worse. Number 8, Tetra with the Cutlass. So to be honest, these last three probably could have been shuffled around a bit and it really wouldn't matter. I might put Wizro worse than Tetra, but it's kind of too late now. Anyways, Tetra is kind of just an all around bad character, with bad attacks and pretty bad damage to go along with them. The only thing that really keeps her from being a lot worse is her character. 
Tetsuro is probably my second favorite character in Wind Waker, second to Ganondorf, who I felt was at his peak in this game. I've always had a sort of odd liking toward, towards pirates and their history, going so far as to even read a 150-page novel about a boy kidnapped by them. Anyways, Tetra was a great character and tied into this story just fine. In Hyrule Warriors, though, she, she just kind of sucks. The weak string is garbage, which I suppose shouldn't be a su surprise, and her special is also, like, really bad. Sure, she has some really satisfying attacks, but most of the good ones leave you super vulnerable to be attacked yourself. The community really confuses me with Tetra since for the most part I saw her low tier, but then sometimes she was like A tier, so I'm really not sure what to say about that. Number 7, Ganondorf with the Great Swords. Okay, so I know this is definitely going to be my most controversial pick, but I'm still keeping him here. Usually Ganondorf is considered a high tier, mid tier occasionally, and I just don't know why. Sure he has pretty great damage and his attacks are, but I mean his attacks are really slow and leave you really vulnerable. I will admit that some of his attacks are pretty satisfying, but then lots of them are also boring and repetitive. Like his combo 5 and combo 6 are practically the same. Anyways, I'm not sure what I can say about his character, he's a classic. Except, now he decided to grow his hair out. A lot. Ganondorf has always been the main enemy of Link, but I honestly don't think he's the best. In my opinion, he was great in Ocarina of Time, but Wind Waker was where he was really at his best. He felt the most actually human in that game. And I was greatly disappointed by the Ganon fight in Ocarina of Time. I mean, honestly, though, why do people think it's hard? Anyways, Ganondorf isn't unplayable or anything. He's just one of my least favorites to play. Number 6, Midna with the Shackle. Midna is really an odd character and not particularly bad. Most of her attacks actually do okay damage. And honestly, her combo 3 and combo 4 are pretty fun to use. It's just, I don't know, I really can't put my finger on why I don't like Midna. I mean, apart from her two fun attacks, almost everything else is like really similar and not very fun. And not to mention her special has just like really, really weird range. Of course, Midna's character is great in Twilight Princess. Her being the best companion is pretty much something almost all Zelda fans can ag agree on, including myself. And I think she's one of the most redeeming quality of Twilight Princess, a game that I never really loved. I always found it really easy and kind of trying to be all dark and creepy, but then like not really working. And now I'm going on about Twilight Princess. Great. On to number 5. Number 5. Agatha with the parasol. Blech. Agatha annoys me. Like, a lot. I'm not really talking about her gameplay. I'm just talking about her in general. Like, why is she in the game? Who wanted this? Nintendo's like, hey guys. Who should we add into Hyrule Warriors? Vadi? Nah. Toon Ganondorf? Nah. Naboru? Nah. Let's go with Agatha. I just always looked at her as a minor character in Twilight Princess, but no, I guess she's more important than Vadi, the literal main antagonist of Minish Cap. Anyways, she does have a pretty unique moveset, summoning insects and stuff. She's overall not horrible and is pretty fun to play as, I guess. She just has great range, it's just that her damage is bad, and she's just like not at all that good. None of her attacks are very satisfying to use, and lots of her attacks use very, very long attack animations that leave you vulnerable until the final big hit. I think most people agree with me since I almost always see her ranked low tier, but yeah, that's number 5, let's move into the top 4. Number 4, Link with the Horse. So before I had the horse, I was honestly really excited to get it. Epona was an amazing part of Zelda games, and I couldn't wait to ride around in her once again. But I also was thinking about how the attacks were supposed to work. How much creative attacks can you really make with a horse? Well, I'll tell you, not very many. The horse, or I'll just call it Epona, is really a disappointing weapon. First of all, you're not even very fast for a horse. 
I expect it to be zooming across the map, but no, it's pretty much the same speed as everyone else. Secondly, most of opponent's attacks don't hit many enemies and have bad range. Opponent sucks at destroying weak points and 1v1s. All of the opponent's attacks are really not satisfying and have bad damage anyways. Once again, most people agree with putting Epona at a very low tier. I guess Epona being well, Epona saves them from going lower on this list. But Link just has so many better weapons to choose from. That Number 3, Lana with the Spear. It's pretty much the same case with Lana, which why would you be using the Spear over the Book of Sorcery? Or even the Summoning Gate, unless it's a stupid restricted weapon level. I really hate those. The Spear is just such a bad weapon. It has no range at all, and the one range attack it has is horrible. The Slingshot does no damage at all. All the attacks from the Spear are just so boring. Honestly, I would say the weak string is one of the best attacks, which is really not something I should be saying. The spear probably could have been put a bit lower on this list, but Lana is a pretty great character and really the only Hyrule Warriors exclusive that I really like. I probably should have said this earlier, but all of these final three weapons are low tier. I know I said I wouldn't base this list on how good a weapon is, but that does contribute quite a bit. If a weapon is just so bad, obviously it can't be good, no matter the character. Anyways, on to number 2. Number 2, Impa with the Giant Blade. Oh boy, now we're getting to the really bad weapons. The Giant Blade just completely sucks. If you enjoy using this weapon, honestly, what's wrong with you? Impa's Naginata is just way better. The giant play is so, so unsatisfying attacks. I mean, even her special is just plain boring. The damage, well not other garbage, isn't great either. The blade has no range and leaves you vulnerable. This weapon leaves you nothing to work with. I don't have anything against Impa, but similar to Agatha, I wonder if she really needed to be in this game? I mean, yeah, she's at least a much bigger deal than Agatha. But is she that important? I would honestly rather have someone else from Rock Ocarina of Time like Saria or even the Happy Mass Salesman. But now, without any further ado, our number one spot and the worst character in Hyrule Warriors. Number one, Tingle with the Balloon. <sighs> Words cannot describe how much I hate playing as Tingle. He's literally torture. I mean, there's not one good thing I can say about him. His attacks are boring, repetitive, unsatisfying, and quite frankly, really cringy. He has terrible damage, horrible range, and his stupid attacks take so long and then do nothing. They're not worth waiting for at all. I would go far as to say that his weak string is the best part of his entire character. And don't even get me started on his character. Actually, I never really minded Tinkle, but I always just thought he was a little weird. I think if Nintendo had just left him behind after Majora's Mask instead of insisting they bring him back all the time, he would have become a bit more of an enjoyable character. But with that, our video is now done. Thank you for making it here in the video and waiting this long for me to finally come out with it. As of now, I'm on a holiday in Hawaii, so I might miss next week up next week's upload. Anyway, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. See all of you guys later. Bye.